and we got black flag for being on fire. In 2012, I went to Germany on business for about a week and a half. Got to drive the Nürburgring, did a few laps out there, which is an amazing track. Just absolutely once in a lifetime, but absolutely terrifying too. It's very narrow. They don't make tracks like that anymore, which is probably a good thing. So I got back and I had a chump car race scheduled immediately after getting back. We had a Nissan 240SX hatchback, fairly well prepared, it was a mature car. We bought it a few years earlier. It was an abandoned lemons car project that blew up and we fixed it up. And we're having reasonable success with it. Uh, car drove well, but I didn't have any time to prep because I had been in Germany for a couple of weeks. And so pretty much I just drove to the track, Texas World Speedway got into the car for practice and really just wasn't still jet lagged still very tired didn't know the track very well track layout i found to be very confusing it's um it's an oval and it has an infield and an outfield section so there's areas where the pavement is a little hard to follow became a real problem that night uh trying to follow it's not well lit it's the track is in a pretty even back then was in a pretty bad state of disrepair Today they've completely sold it and it's housing a bunch of flood cars. I was trying to get some rest. I took a nap and got up and tried to get all my gear ready. And so I got my radio on, my helmet, my suit. Uh, we were running cool shirts at the time. The previous driver had kind of come in a little early. So I was caught a little off guard. I jump in the car, it's still daylight out there. And I start my drive and I'm just really not feeling very good. So I start doing a few laps and I'm fully suited up. I've got gloves on, you know, full fire suit, cool shirt, helmet, uh, just covered head to toe. And I'm driving, trying to just get into the rhythm of things. On, on my helmet visor, I see this big blob and it's, it's a spider. And it wasn't a really big spider. It was probably one of those little jumping spiders. But when it's a couple of inches off your face it's giant just looked like this giant blob moving in there and i'm looking at it, i'm like what is that and next thing i know i'm two wheels off in the dirt because i'm paying more attention to the spider so i'm trying to drive again i see it again and i go to hit it i swat at it bam and i hit my visor and it's still there so it's on the inside of my visor at that point i'm like oh great and i look up and i blew past my breaking point uh, and I'm four wheels off. So I'm trying to balance driving around in the middle of a chump car race with dealing with a spider in my helmet, jet lag, and just really not having a good drive. I'm radioing in, there's a spider in my helmet, and the guys are just laughing at me. Uh, That's all I hear through the radios. I go on and I flip up my visor. Uh, I'm just gonna run with it open for a while. Didn't see him again, but I'm distracted because I keep looking for this spider again. I feel him like crawling on my face. I try to hit it, but I can't get in there with my gloves. I feel him like crawling across my face. He's like on my lip. He's like on my upper lip. And I was like, I couldn't reach him. And I was like, fine. And I was like, ooh. And I just kind of lick him off my lip. And, you know, so I have a dead spider in my mouth. Uh, next lesson is don't spit in your helmet. So I try to spit in my helmet and of course that didn't work out very well at all. Yeah, it was just spit hanging off the inside of my helmet. I'm like, ah, oh, great. I'm trying to tell this to the guys on the radio and they're just, you know, laughing. That's all I hear is laughter over the radio. Finally, my stint is over and I'm so glad to get out of my helmet, first of all, because I kept, the whole time I kept feeling like are there more spiders in here? We had some mechanical problems. The power steering reservoir is right over the exhaust header. Once a car gets hot, the power steering fluid gets hot, expands, it flows over onto the exhaust header, and we got black flag for being on fire. We got pulled in, put out the fire, fine, and we wound up bypassing the entire system. I was tired, I had to get some rest while everyone else fixed the car. I woke up, the car was out on the track, it was 
nighttime. Get back in the car, middle of the night, and I realize I can't see anything. It's just so dark out there. Track's not well lit. Our headlights weren't doing very good. And it was very confusing where the tarmac went. Sometimes it went in a direction for a course configuration that we weren't using. So I had a hard time telling where there was grass and where there was pavement and where I was supposed to drive. And there were a couple times I felt like I kind of got lost on the track, especially in the back sections. There was a guy following me, he was running his high beam, so I could not see anything. And I was looking around and I kept driving. I figured, I just drove straight where I, I saw the road kind of turn off a little bit the, through the pavement, it kind of veered off. And all I see in my rear view mirror is the headlights of the car behind me just go swing off and then swing back and then just disappear entirely in the dark. And I was like, you know, I freaked out. I was like, am I going down the wrong way? And, uh, but it turns out he just spun off the track. You see a lot of crazy things in these uh, low budget crap can racing series. And you try to do a lot of heroic fixes try to put things together and keep things running as best as you can. Check your gear for spiders and don't spit in your helmet. That's, that's a pretty important lesson I learned that day.